Oh no, the red guy has found us. Oh no, I blew up myself, darn it. Okay. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel with me, Mrs. Z1. Today we are taking a look at Kamikaze Veggies. Now this is another puzzle game. This game is not available out just yet, but it will be available here on Steam in a few days. So if you guys are interested in checking this game out, check out the link down below. Wishlist it so you know when it comes out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start this up. I'm pretty excited. Haven't ever played this game before, so we are starting a brand new game. Thousands of years after the extinction of human civilization on planet Earth, the greenhouse effect has wreaked havoc, causing vegetables to become the dominant species. Unfortunately, their everyday life is a struggle to survive. High temperatures have depleted the lands, causing hunger and disease. The sun's rays have made many vegetables go crazy. Some of them have completely changed their personalities, becoming dangerous to others. Joseph Pomodoro became one such vegetable. He used to be a good tomato. He loved Carrot Marx's philosophy, was well-liked and respected. But the sun's rays turned him into a monster. He has manipulated red vegetables with his hatred of others, blaming the disaster on vegetables with different colored skin. He commissioned scientists to create a cruel variety of GMO pepper and began to conquer the world. In a short time, he has taken over the world in a brutal and cruel way. The oppressed vegetables have formed an underground organization in which the boldest, strongest, and craziest vegetables are selected. They are trained for secret subversive missions, and their battalion has become famous under the name Kamikaze Veggie. Okay, so it looks like we are going to Tutorial Island. Today, your soldier's goal is to become a soldier. Follow the blackboards and try to get to the top of the training hill. There is a helicopter waiting for you. Looks like we have a new soldier available. This is a Karatado, <laughs> the most universal member of the team. He has no weakness. He is strong and fast. His kamikaze explode is very thorough. He sets a target and destroys the enemy with a rocket attack. Okay, so we have the ability to do a rocket kill. It allows us to be a living rocket launcher. You should use this kamikaze skill to reach faraway targets. Just aim your enemy and rocket and roll. Okay, so it looks like we are going to be unlocking some more, uh, some more people here shortly. Let's go ahead and start. All right, rookies. Time to prove that you're good for more than Caesar salad. Here's a mission that will prepare you for real war. Today, we will test your stealth skills. We'll check how you deal with throwing a grenade. And most important, we will see if you are ready for this sacrifice. If you prove your worth, you will become a new member of Kamikaze Veggies. Those who don't make it to the hill of the island can go back to Mummy. Understood? They're not messing around. Okay, so we uh, it looks like we only have one option. So we're going to go with Caritado. Check the blackboard. Okay, stealth lesson. Try to pass this area unnoticed by our carrot guardian. You need to move quietly and invisibly. Otherwise, the guard will close the gates until you hide again. Good luck. Okay, we can do this. No problem. Is there only one guard? 
The carrot disguised as Pepper is Steve. Steve is a trainer who will imitate the behavior of our enemies in the field. Okay, I think we're good. I hope so. Okay, let's go. Let's go through the, the gate. We made it. Okay, run or die. Running is essential for survival. When you get noticed, your only chance is speed. But remember that there are two sides to the coin. While running, your opponent hears you better. Okay, how do we run? Okay, shift, I guess. Okay, I don't see any opponents, so I think we are good to go. We can continue on. A grenade throwing lesson. Destroy all three enemies, straw dummies by throwing grenades. Okay, well, look at this. We got some grenades coming in. Let's go ahead and grab them. They're perfect for eliminating single enemies as well as whole groups. Be careful not to detonate it too close to you. The grenade uh, does not distinguish between friends and foe. Okay. Looks like we just push E to pick them up. Easy enough. Okay, looks like we use Q in order to decide what one we're going to grab. We're going to go ahead and use this one. Oh my gosh, we got two at the same time. Yay! And look at that. We have a magical bridge now. Let's continue on. Okay, remember that you can find many treasures in the occupied territories. It is worth looking for them in various nooks and crannies and hard to reach places because they will bring benefits in the final evaluation of the mission. <laughs> Looks like we found some gold and we need to check the next blackboard. Pull the lever down. If you die, another vegetable will start its mission at this point. You gain a grenade and increase the chances of the mission succeeding. Okay, we activated the spawn point. Yay! Wait, what is- Oh, do we get a grenade? Awesome! We have an extra grenade. Okay, sacrifice a lesson. Obstacle blinking a red. This is a sign that it can only be destroyed with a powerful kamikaze blast. Okay, make your way using kamikaze blast. I'm guessing it's this one. Oh my goodness, that was so cool. Okay, so now we are down to two vegetables. And let's come on over this way. Oh, is this the end of the tutorial? Oh, look. We got another grenade. Awesome, we finished the mission. Oh no, there was gold underneath us that I missed! Okay, it looks like we got two out of three stars. I will take it. New mission available. Looks like we get to control this guy. And let's go ahead and do number one, Pocket Rocket Island. Okay, so it looks like this time we were able to... Grab five caratados. So let's go, go ahead and start this up. Welcome to the Kamikaze Veggies Battalion. You've been vegetating your whole life for this special moment. We are heading to Pocket Rocket Island, one of the many Pomodoro residences. Your task is to destroy the rocket hidden by the statue of this vain tomato. This ballistic missile is a hellish masterpiece of totalitarian engineers. We have to destroy it before it destroys us. And one more thing. 
Don't forget to say your prayers, ladies. Understood. Find a way to cross the fortification. Okay, it looks like maybe we need to head over this way. Danger level, 6 out of 10. Melee troopers. When melee troopers notice you, uh, he will start a chase that can only be interrupted by your death or by successfully hiding from his sight. Ooh. It does look like we need to destroy that, though. Kind of thinking we're just going to sacrifice ourselves. We have plenty of uh, caritados. Look at that. We destroyed him. Okay, bring in another caritado in. There's our <laughs> there's our care tunnel friend. He was uh ripped in half. Sorry, guy. Okay, it looks like we got another respawn point. Oh, a landmine, an explosive weapon extremely effective against infantry units. You can install them at a short distance from you. After using it, it will change its color and unfold so the enemies can step into it more easily. Okay, let's go ahead and pull down this respawn point. And we got a landmine. And a grenade. Okay, there's definitely a red dude right there. I'm thinking we need to use this. I'm gonna place it right here. Because this red guy is going to see us here pretty quick. Oh no! The red guy has found us! Oh no! I blew up myself! Darn it! Okay. Be careful with the, with those. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I mean, but now we can continue on. Use the lever to set up the bridge. Awesome, and now we made it to another respawn point. Okay, danger level zero out of 10, a totalitarian engineer. Clever, they are responsible for all the enemy machinery. They are not dangerous in themselves, but can be a bit annoying. Also, just now seeing this, there is some adult words in here, so I'm gonna try and not say them myself, but just be forewarned. He doesn't do anything though, does he? No, there's a whole bunch of them, but they're not doing anything. Okay, they're just like hanging around me. I need to grab one of these. Okay, it killed a few of them. <laughs> Looks like we got another one of those boxes. We'll go ahead and grab that. And... We'll place that down right there. Come on, go over the box. Okay, we just have three more. I think, oh, I don't have any grenades. There was a lot of screaming. We got any more grenades over here? Oh, we got some more of these things. Okay, placing another one of those down. Hello, dudes. Okay, killed some more of them. <laughs> this is kind of a crazy game. <laughs> Only need one more to go. Ta-da! I think we might have killed them all. Let's grab this one, just so we have it for later. Never know if we might need it in the future. 
It looks like we need to come over here. Oh, is that gold? Is that gold? Pick up the gold. Okay, it does look like we need to come. Maybe I was supposed to kill one of those guys right there. I don't know. Possibly. That does make sense. Um, let's see. There's some more of those up here, but there's a dude up here. Maybe I can persuade him to come down. Come down, my friend. I would like you to come over here and uh, kill yourself on this square. No, come down. Come down here. Can I push you down? Okay, follow me. Follow me to your death. Come on. You're awfully slow. Now all of a sudden you're fast. Oh, you know what? I bet you I gotta push this. Ha ha ha. This is where the puzzles come in. Here we go. We figured it out. Oh, destroy their rocket launcher. What the heck is the rocket launcher? Oh, that's the rocket launcher. Um. Uh. Um, this? I mean, I think that works. I mean, we killed ourselves in the process, but we did it. Okay, we got two stars. Oh, three stars. Yes! And we have another new mission available. Let's go ahead and go head on over there. GMO Selene platform. <laughs> okay, we have a new soldier available. The PP Landstorm. In this assault action, you drop small green mines that will explode one after another, creating an explosive domino effect. Don't pee out of fear. <laughs> with the Carl M12. Take your destiny backpack and set off on a last minute journey. Okay, so should we get the Brad P, the Carl M12, the Caritado? I don't know. We got a regular carrot dude, we got a Carl M12, and we have two Brad P's. Oh, we got another Carl too. Let's go ahead and start this up. All right. What blows in the veins of the enemy? It's GM oil. Communists extracted from the islands of the ancient archipelago. They built an oil rig that pollutes everything for miles around. We have to end this. Destroying the main drill will make hostile actions much more difficult and will make everyone hear about us. It's time to make a mess of this whole damn factory. Is that clear? Okay, we get to choose our first vegetable. I kind of want to go with the Brad Pete. I mean, it's green. We should definitely go with the green guy. Find a way to cross the fortification. Oh my gosh, look at this jump. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Okay, there's people right there. How do I drop my pee? Okay, improvised weapons. Soldier, you will often find heavy items on the battlefield that glisten with a white glow. In many cases, you'll be able to use them as an anti-paprika. Just push a heavy object onto your enemy to crush them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did we crush them? We crushed them. Oh, we crushed one of them. Okay, time for your turn to be crushed. There you go. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun! Okay, I love this little pea guy because this little double jump thing keeps me away from the enemies. 
It is pretty great. Okay, use free electronics to electrify the gears. Uh, respawn point. Oh, grenade. I'll take it. Okay. It looks like we destroyed one of them. Oh, darn. There's like no aiming with this. Okay, I will say having some kind of an aim mechanic in this game would be very, very helpful. But please remember this game is in early access. Um, some screaming might have happened. Okay, I will say the pea right now is definitely my favorite vegetable to go with. Okay, grabbing this guy. Oh my gosh! Okay, don't fall into the water because a giant shark comes out and eats you whole! Okay, we're gonna go with our pea again. Okay. It looks like the way we need to go is down here. And it looks like we have some cubes over here. Oh, another thing to grab. Okay, can we grab one? Can we grab more than one of these landmines at a time? Oh my gosh, we can. I definitely did not realize that the first time. Okay, it looks like we have six of those guys now. That will be super duper helpful. Let's come over here. Let's activate this thing real quick. Grab one of these again. They saw me. Oh no, they captured me. They killed me. Okay, time to bring out the Carl M12. Grab all of these. And let's place a few of these down. Oh, snap! I didn't I didn't move fast enough away from it. Oh I thought we were doing so good. We were doing so good until now. Yay, somebody followed me. You! You look like you should follow me. Ha <laughs> ha! You're gone. Okay, heading over here. I'm gonna pull this down. Use free electrons to electrify the moving parts of the grate. Okay, grabbing some more of these. Uh, what the heck is on my back? Is that about to go off? What the heck is, do I explode? Oh my gosh, I explode after a certain amount of time. Or did I click something? Okay, I guess we're going back to our uh, good old faithful Caritato. Oh man. I missed something. We destroyed it. Now we need to destroy the drill motor. Oh, that's like super high up there. This looks super dangerous, like all of these things could kill us, and uh, we're on our last life. So, we need to be careful, and if we fall into the water, you know, the big bad shark will get us, so... Also need to be careful of that as well. No pressure. No pressure. Okay, guys, I might be starting to feel the pressure. <laughs> Okay, there's some people over there. Um, one of them just fell down. I have no grenades. I have nothing. Oh, it looks like I just have to suicide myself into there. So. 
did we complete the mission? We did! Success, awesome. Looks we got looks like we got another three stars. I felt like we did really bad for that one, but apparently we didn't do too bad. Also looks like we have another new mission. What is this one called? Skull Island. That's going to go ahead and end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing as well. If you guys are interested in getting this game for yourself, I will have a link down below. Like I said, it is not available out just yet on Steam, but you can go ahead and wishlist it now. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everybody.